All right, what's happening, people? We are back again. Another episode of R.A.O.P. I uh, I might have stole the introduction from you this time, man. You good? I'll get the next two, man. <laughs> it's all good, man. We work as a team, anyway. It's another episode. R.A.O.P. It's your boy Ampavelli, Mr. Jefferson. This is this is a different kind of episode. We have never done anything like this, so this is like the test run for this. <laughs> so we got a special guest. I guess this is like the first like Ario panel. She dancing and she yeah. There we go. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call this one the Ario panel, pretty much, man. Yes, indeed. So we got Mimi in here. She got a reality show. What's up, y'all? It's Mimi, Miss Carter, the CEO of Duval's Finance, the real baddest in Jacksonville. Season one coming soon. So tell us a little bit about this, man. How did it? Um, how did it come about? Um, so I started it in July. Um. And it really, like, I want to say, like, a couple of months before that, I wanted to drop a show of just, like, myself. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no, I want to do it with a group of girls. So I started it in July. Um, really, I was talking to a friend, and I told her about it. I was like, bitch, I want to start a show. You can curse on here. Yeah. You want to. Okay. I said, I wanted to start a show because I was watching Zeus. I was like, mm, we can do this because Jacksonville used to be Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's so many women out here who really get to the money. Diamond Duval, for example. like, mm -hmm. And we had her. She was one of our judges on the... um. First round of auditions. So I just wanted to showcase our women because women out here, we've been hustling a little bit harder than some of these men out here. But Talk your shit. I, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just saying. But <laughs> yeah, I wanted to showcase their talents. I wanted us to go outside of Jacksonville as well. And that's what we've been doing. So I'm just trying to take it wherever. That's what's up. So uh, how was it for you when you were put, pulling the resources together to get this show? Did you have any background in the uh, production, um, casting, things of that sort? Nope. Um, really, I really worked it up from the from the ground up. But I did have like my family, uh, my brother DJ Shab, my oldest brother DJ Sheldon, rest in peace to him. Uh, he's been leading the path for me. Really, his name still speaks numbers for myself. Um, so I'm grateful for that. My stepfather, he's a photographer, a videographer. He owns a studio downtown in Jacksonville. Um, so I I do have a little bit of help. Um, I'm I'm grateful for my uh, support system. It's mainly my family. Um, I do have a little bit of connections in the production team as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just real grateful for that. It's really my family. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> hey, that's what matters most, you know? Really? That's what Ben Diesel talk about every Fast and Fear movie. Right. talk about family. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you said you want to do the show about yourself. So, what was going to be the premise of that show? It was going to be like, it's Mimi's world and y'all just living in it. Because... Mm -hmm. Ever since a kid, I've been real dramatic, real animated. Used to do cartwheels in the house. Had ADHD when I was a child. I was just, I was, yeah, I used to be in trouble real bad in school. So, like, I really do have a story to tell, seriously, because even with people who have ADHD, teenagers and children, like, I felt like teachers never really wanted to focus on us. They would just say, oh, she's bad. Oh, she do too much. Oh, yeah. she, she too active. But you really don't sit down and try to figure out what that student is going through. You know what I'm saying? So I really wanted to write a book, but like a TV show, because I, I like talking. So I wanted to do a TV show about myself, just really to tell my story, because I have a story to tell as well. Yeah. Well, you can do all that. You, you still do your book and whatnot. I'm pretty yeah. sure you still plan on doing your yeah, book. Yeah, I do. Um. You don't see too many people that just say, "Damn, I just want my own show." Cause usually people just start right. on YouTube or something. <laughs> but you, you had you had the bigger picture. You like, fuck all that. I'm just gonna do a show. Yes, because it's a lot of reality TV shows that I have been watching. I just now started watching Zeus too. Like in July, when I started my show, I was like, "Bro, I can yeah, I do watch, this." I watch Zeus. I watch. Yeah, I watch yeah he Joss faithful. <laughs> I've never watched Jocelyn Cabaret, but I've always seen the clips. I was like, "Bro, I can I can do that because Jocelyn, she a trip. I'm a trip." Jocelyn. Jocelyn be on there talking like a hitter. She do like. it. I, I really think she is. I ain't even gonna cap. Well, she used to be a uh, what's the what's the female pimp? Uh, a madam. Oh yeah, yeah. She used a, to madam? Be a madam. I so believe she be it. trying to like when she be talking to the girls, she be talking to the girls as if like they're her hoes, pretty much. So yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, true. They really was low key. Yeah, they are. I, I think she straight up just called them they owed. She was <laughs> she answering really, to it. So. Well, she she didn't call them a lot worse than that. No, <laughs> I've seen a few clips so on TikTok. That episode when she was about to fight that big girl. Oh yeah, that mm. was crazy. See, I don't really try not to watch that. I watched the Jocelyn show because we got a Patreon and like, mm -hmm. people like that's what's engaging up. in that. But uh, other than like other than that, I did watch like uh, back in the day as far as like reality shows. I watched the Flavor of Love. Hey, Flavor, Flavor. Flavor. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that was a good one. That was a good um, one. I watched I Love New York. I think that's about it. I ain't really watch I Love New York. 
Yeah. Nah, I wasn't into that one. Me neither. I'm gonna be honest. She was too over the top for me. Just a little bit. Like I, I, I could, I could deal with personality, and I think even watching Flavor Flav, you know, that shows that. But she was too over the top for me, too dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Like just too much. It's like, yo, I want to like what you mm-hmm. got going on, but you're not giving me much to. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Mimi, before we get more into the baddie show, like quick question, as far as like reality shows, if you had to do like a Mount Rushmore, who would you put on yours? So, as far as like reality TV shows? Reality mm-hmm. TV, yeah. Mm-hmm. As far as characters, like key characters that made a show good. Oh, damn. Reality show good. If Nene ain't on your list. <laughs> Don't do me. Um, Rashida. Okay, I love that's a her. good one. I, I I love everything about her. She be a little slow sometimes with her little <laughs> relationship, but I love her. Um, what's that girl name from? Um, is it Sky from uh Black Ink? That's her name. I didn't watch Black Ink, but I'm um, gonna go with the. Flow. I'm familiar with who you talking you, you about. Know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. I don't know if that's her name, but I, I love her. Was she, that the girl with the? She had an issue who was with, with her kids. Um, no, mm-hmm. she was the one who used to always be beefing with uh the bald headed man. Oh, see. They, they was dating for a little minute, but I'll put uh, her on there. The only reason I know that because I just watched a podcast. He was on there because he got in trouble. I think like dog fighting. Yeah, shit. I seen that. I, I will put her on there. Um, I do love me some Nene. She be talking her shit. Um, who else? I don't like Cynthia. What's that girl name from the basketball? Uh, basketball wives. Oh, uh, that's one I've never watched. You never watched Basketball Wives? Oh, uh-huh. uh, Jesus, the old Couldn't one. Do that one. Uh, I know like. Chad Johnson was dating one of them. Uh, I think her name was like Evelyn or some shit like that. Not Evelyn. She was the other one. She was kind of older than everybody else. I'm not sure. All, I will put audience, you on there, girl. The audience will know who you Because, yeah, they going to know. I'll put her on there. And then... Mm. Well, you just got four, so... I right. need one more. Mm. We might mm. need to take one off. <laughs> yeah, for real, because... Mm. Oh, 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 that girl. What's her name? K Michelle, because I love me some K Michelle. When she was shaking the table, unless you want to get shook, that was my favorite little line yeah, she did. I like K Michelle with the old face. Yeah, the old face. The yeah, old um, face. She got, she had old K three, Michelle. She had about three different faces. But and you yeah, know what's crazy? Face. The new, the newer face. She looks good, but it's just not her. Like, it's just yeah, a different just person. Like, like she's pretty, but it's just it's not her at all. But that'll be my little lineup. Yeah, I want the K Michelle that was ready to squabble with bitches. Yeah, like, you know, she not changed her life around, which is fine, but I didn't expect her to change her whole face. That jump was crazy. Right. So, oh, my fault. No, 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 you good. Uh, so, Mimi, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, okay. My birthday coming up, Pisces again. Hey. <laughs> so, um, at what, at, you say in July you wanted to um, start the show. Mm-hmm. So, how 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 fast did things come into motion for you? To be honest, I anticipated myself so much. I did not expect it to go up so quick. Like, because at first when I put it, I was like, Ma, ain't nobody finna follow me. Ain't nobody finna <laughs> tune in. I'm finna delete the page. Oh, my God. I took the page three days later. I already was at 1,000 followers. Because people, they think it's going to be mess, so they like mess. So, right, they're going right. to tune in regardless. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I have a whole different narrative for my show. But they're going to, you know, they're going to think whatever they want to think. So they're going to tune in regardless. So I did not expect it to go up so quickly. Um, I'm grateful, of course. But yeah. I was like, woo, I can't stop now because too many people done seen it already. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I just, I've been running with it. Yeah, once you announce that I'm doing an audition, you 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 serious with it. You like, I got to get, really get it. So salute to you to start it. You said it was an idea in July. Right. Mm-hmm. And it all, already. I mean, yeah, you got episodes and everything already yes, in the bag, yes, point I, system set up and seriously. everything. So Man, listen, it's crazy. We just did our photo shoot. It was lit. We had 10K, almost at 11K on Facebook. I had the Facebook page for like three months. <coughs> it's, been, it's been crazy, but I'm loving it. I'm rocking with it. We'll get back to the Facebook in a second. <laughs> so without spoiling anything for the show, like what's the premise of the show? Um, so mainly, you mean just like what and why narrative, yeah, what, yeah, like a little storyline. Yeah. Um, mainly, you know, you know, some shows they do like competitions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we was just talking about Jocelyn. Jocelyn don't necessarily do competitions. Hers is like almost damn near like a stripper competition, <laughs> pretty much. So they dance and stuff. So certain reality shows got like a odd, like an idea what they're doing. Like a, I'm so used to the old school way where everything was a competition. Right. I think we kind of strayed away from that. Right. So my show it is a competition. At the end of the um, at the end of the day, it will be one winner. 
Um, okay. Really, meaning while I'm looking for in these girls, I have 12 girls, 12 cast members. Um, all of them are business owners. If they're not, they're on their way to being a business owner. Some of them are in school, about to graduate. Um, I'm trying to help them help me. I'm trying to showcase their talents. I'm trying to showcase my talents as well. Um, so really what I'm looking for is that main one who is mainly ready about her bag, respect, attendance, personality, self-driven. Um, like who really not looking for the mess, who really is trying to really get somewhere and get outside of Jacksonville. I'm not trying to keep this just in Jacksonville. I'm trying to take this everywhere for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's really mainly what I'm looking for. There will be one winner. Every day is a competition. They get scored every day. We got a point system, a score sheet. I heard you. We yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. I don't be playing, okay? I, see. I do I not see. be playing. I love my girls, but at the end of the day, we trying to get somewhere. You feel yeah. me? Like, we trying to make this. We trying to be like God darn um, Love & Hip Hop, Real Housewives of Atlanta. We're trying to get somewhere. So I want people who are serious, who are about their money, and who are about trying to get their stuff out there as well. So, yes, um, it's a competition. Every day, these ladies get judged. Every day, I be on their tail. Um, my mama, mama baddie be on their tail. My momager. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm about to put you on spot real quick. Put me on spot. You might get me up out of here for this. I might. <laughs> uh, you say you got 12 girls. 12 girls. I got a roster right here in my face. Okay. Can you name all 12 girls? Yes, I can. Let's get it. All uh -huh. right. Nicknames are, are, are real names. Nicknames. I got a nickname with Okay. Baby Harris. Okay. Bambi. Chicago. Lola. Karma. The Dragon. Corporate. I like that name, the dragon. The dragon, yeah. Yeah. She, she know karate. No, she just real spicy. Mm. <laughs> uh, the dragon, corporate, candy. Uh oh. Um, Mira, J baby. <laughs> Come on, you close. Uh, Miss Classy. All right, let's get it. That's good. eleven, right? Yeah. I'm missing somebody. Who I'm missing? Uh, yeah, I don't help her. Don't help me, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, cast member. Who am I missing? Oh, my God. I said 11. Who am I, I missing? I might have messed up. Did you say Paradise? He just uh, gave it to me. Yep. Cool. Paradise. Yeah. Paradise. Pisces game. I missed one out of 11. But that's, yeah. That's Paradise or Pisces too? Paradise is a Pisces too. Her yeah. birthday a couple of days after my I was going to say, yeah. I know. Like that. That's my dog. I'm supposed to remember that. Yeah, yeah. That, that was supposed to be in there like twins. Paradise. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> but you you know I know you. But Paradise ain't here right now, so. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Nah, I'm bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paradise, girl. You know, you know I love you, girl. But no, I was good, though. I only missed one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I salute you for that. I yes, because it really that. is hard. But them, I love them, so. And you got to keep track of all 12 of them. Yes, you got your I have, mom doing it. Man, it's a lot. I have my uh, executive assistant. I have another assistant. My mom, she's the executive producer, momager. She's the mama batted to all of the girls. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be a lot, but they be doing good. I'd be having to get on summer. <laughs> what was your mom's exact reaction when you brought this to her? Oh, she wasn't for it at all. Oh, she really? was like, Mimi, what? She was like, out of all the things, for real. She was like, out of all the things you could do, and you're going to come up with a, <laughs> show, with a reality TV show. I was like, oh, well, you know, just listen to reason. But then when she seen that just started going up, she said, okay, girl, I support you, girl. For real. <laughs> that's so what's up. Ever that's since then, she been, she been down for it. Yeah, that's why moms are important. A good mom is important because sometimes you could bring some bullshit to them, but and I do. you show that you're serious, <laughs> yeah. they're going to be on your and side And that's what it was. Time. She didn't think I was serious at first because in the beginning, I brought somebody else who I wanted to do this with me. As y'all yeah. see, she ain't her. Uh -oh. My mama told me. Let's get into the mess. Let's get into the mess. <laughs> yeah. I, I should have brought my shades for shade. Um, my mama told me, as soon as I told her, the person who I wanted to bring on, she said, nope, it's not a good idea. You cannot miss friends and business. I said, mama, that's my bitch. Like, yeah. we've been friends for years. Like, we met somebody who we don't even mess with no more. Um, Y'all, long story short, after this start, stuff started, like, going up, I was on a podcast with Sharice Mills, who on Zeus, mm -hmm. um, like two days after that. That's a nice flex right there. Yeah, for real. Yeah, shout out to her. She lit. She been. She really been wanting my corner, for real. She, she's up. very sweet. Shout out to you, Sharice, girl. A um, couple of days after that, she started asking about roles, recognition, clout, like, and I was like, dang, man, my mama was right. And I hate 
Damn, the show like, ain't even start yet. The show ain't even start yet, man. Like the show ain't even start yet. No cast has was made yet. This was three. It was like three days in. That's crazy. It was it was so crazy. As soon as the the next day, she was like, "Okay, like so." I see you keep on saying you the CEO, CEO. I am. You is. You started. I started this. I man, listen. And when it I, sounds like you got all the resources. I mean, yeah. I don't even want to get With it into being it. your family. Even, man, this lady, man, this girl. Hey, man, I ain't biased. I'm on your side. Man, you know listen, man. Hey, I ain't bro, so far. To, man, listen, man. It, it's really so crazy. It hurt my feelings because this is my, I cried so hard. Yeah, I tried to beg this girl to stay a part of this. Like, I keep it a buck. The type of person I am, if you're really my bitch, I'm going to ride for you. Yeah. And if and if you see some type of ill feelings towards each other, like, I'm going to try and fight for our friendship. You feel yeah. me? Man, that girl wasn't going for it. She said if she wasn't going to be a CEO like me, she don't want to be my business partner, don't want to be my friend, don't want shit to do with me. And I, I cried. Shoot, I was hurt. So I was really, like, damn, you really? CEO, you only need one. You only need yeah. one. You feel me? And yeah. the thing about it is so crazy. And my house, and I got a camera in my house, record everything. So I got receipts. <laughs> Man, I called this girl. The day before, I told my mom about the show. Call called her the next day. We watching Zeus together. I said, bitch, I'm finna do this. I'm finna start a show. She like, yes, let's go. Like, I'm finna help you. Like, we gonna do this. Yeah. Three days later, bro. Wait a minute. What's my role? Because you keep on doing this and that, then the third. Because I am the CEO. I said she was going to be the COO. And if you guys know what a COO is, that's the next person say. in command to the CEO. That's so you basically... Some, that's some bullshit. Is, you feel me? Like, you got the same recognition I got, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I created this. I got the sources. I got the investments. I got the income. I've been getting shit done. Now, I'm going to say this. There's some companies to where, you know, some of those other positions actually make more than the CEO. You feel me? So, and that's what yeah, I was trying probably. to explain to her, but I feel like she really didn't care. Yeah. And I will say, it, it was on my part as well. I can take accountability for myself as well. I mean, miscommunication on my part, roles should have been discussed first. Mm -hmm. We were so excited. You feel me? Yeah. Like, uh, we made Instagram same day. Yeah, made know. emails same day. We were so excited. I res I res I respect that, but you got a good point. But like, you don't really think about nothing like nothing that. like you you're don't. Trying, you're you feel trying me? to get it rocking. Yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to get it rocking, girl. Let us blow first. You right. feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, like right. positions, need... positions minor. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this, because it's not like egos just got in the way. It did mostly on her. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know this girl. I'm right, of, right. You feel like y'all can like reconcile? Nah. Let me Damn. tell y'all, because I'm finna get into it for real, for real. Here come the mess for real. <laughs> All right. Man, this girl that made a T page. This is oh, one of my Lord. best friends. We both got kids together. Yeah. We used to do everything together. This girl then being everywhere with me, know my whole family, everything. This girl made a T page about me. This girl made a fake page about me. This girl went live just last week, talking mess, telling my business, just talking lies. This girl said she created this whole thing. Yeah. And I ain't say nothing. I kept it quiet. I kept it classy. I kept it cordial because at the end of the day, we was friends. I'm yeah. not finna bash you because you was my main bitch at one point in time. You feel me? So that just shows you was never my friend. You wanted the recognition and you wanted the clout. Yeah. And I don't like that. But whatever. I still love you, girl. But you shit. At the end of the day, she cut me off. Yeah. And I'm going to keep on moving. I'm keep on going up. She see this shit going up. And that's really why she mad. Yeah, you take the high road. The girl was just live last week. Don't speak on this girl. Don't talk on this girl unless she talk about me. Yeah. Then I, I'll say a little something. I ain't gonna lie. I got a little mess in one time. <laughs> I, I had to take it down, but she screenshotted me. <laughs> she screenshotted me. I had to take it down, but gotta be quicker than that. You, you feel me? I was too slow. But I really don't care, bro, because I, I kept my mouth closed for too long. Like you're not finna keep bashing my name. One thing I don't play right. about is, is credit. Yeah. You're not gonna take the credit for what I done did. You feel me? Like no. But 100%. I still fuck with you. She made the logo. My logo five. So shout out to you on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck with all the marketing so far. Yeah. Right, why are you talking about mess? Let's talk about the Facebook page because that was <laughs> that was a thing when y'all when you had posted. I think y'all was that the cast when the club picture that everybody was commenting. What club? On. No, and that's the thing because I'm sorry. I love my city, but I hate my city. Some of y'all real illiterate. And y'all don't read. <laughs> they look at a picture and they run because it's mess. You feel me? Yeah, yeah that wasn't if the case. You just posted a picture. If, if you read what that joint said, that joint said the CEO and some of her friends brought along some contestants from round one mm. to come to Boston Richie. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it was. Them girls was not on the show. That was not the cast. The second round of audition wasn't even there yet. But you know, people, they don't read. Some of y'all can't read. 
Yeah. And and they really illiterate and they really don't care about what the pair what the captions be saying. Yeah. Right. They just want to go talk about somebody and have something to say. You know what I'm saying? That was not even the cast. Yeah. That was some of my homegirls, the promo team, and a few of the contestants who did try out. Okay, yeah, because I I was tapped in at that point because I think I'm pretty sure you hit us up in the July. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I had sent it to Joe and I was like, read these comments. They going they be crazy. going and I ain't gonna count. <laughs> I give credit what it's due. I'm not biased. Cause the type of person I am, the type of person my mama raised me to be, both of my parents. Yeah. Mm. Shit don't hurt me at all. Right, right, right. Yeah. The only person who's gonna hurt me is me. Yeah. That yeah. shit was funny though. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. Some of them comments, some of the stuff that the people were saying, I was laughing. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Cause they they creative. I give them that. But yeah. they, they upset. Was, they was on one particular girl, Nick. I don't know which one they were going crazy on. Wh- which one? I can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> I kinda, think I know you're talking I'm kinda, about. I'm kind of old. I think so I know you're talking about. Was it with the purple nails? Was it, I think Cash was in her name. Ka- oh, China. China. <laughs> Shout out to my dog. But like people was going on her because they hate her for for no reason. They hate yeah, that girl because that girl be going she up. She was on another. She on Big show. Legs. That's my dog. Big Legs. The girl not even on the show. She has nothing to do with my show at all. She was just a friend of mine. She was just there, and people just hate on her because of who she is. Really. Like they don't. That's what that's what I was figuring. Out. You like, feel yeah. me? She they, on Bit Lex in Atlanta Red Carpets premieres making movies and stuff. They don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I figured they just seen her like, yeah. like the Terminator. Like, yeah, we her. they just they <laughs> really ate her up for no reason. Yeah, we we here to destroy. You feel me? Let's destroy anything around her. So our own people in our own city. That's just crazy. Yeah, you know how it go. I'll never I'll never understand it. But I'm really trying to change that. It's too much money out here to be hating on each other. Like what? it's too much money. I think you made a good point about uh, even just talking about Jacksonville having been Hollywood at one point, or at least that being the goal. Jacksonville has all of the resources to be, you know, in Atlanta or a hub in any regard, you know, whether it's entertainment or um, or specifically music, TV, you know, things of that sort. Exactly. But um, I don't think there's enough camaraderie. You know what I mean? That's our that's our issue. Um, not enough uh, resources are pulled together. Exactly. But like you said, you're doing a good job of changing that. I'm so. trying to. I'm trying to. We It really is so much resources. So many people are so talented out here. But our city, I hate to say, we really are a crowd pot. We tear each other down. Like, yeah. let, let's talk about everybody else. Right. Don't talk about our city and our people. You feel me? That's some like, real shit. Build us up. Don't tear us down. Because we can really be like that. We, can, we really could have been past Atlanta. For real, if people wasn't so bitter or like just thinking, oh, I'm finna just stay in Jacksonville, like, I can't do anything. No, it's so much stuff to do out here, and I'm I'm really trying to change it for real. It's hard, but I'm doing it, yeah. and I ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna keep it going. Yeah, keep the good fight going, sister. For sure. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just like everybody put their. I think we talked about that earlier today. Like everybody just put their egos in a way people can't they do. just like put stuff to the side. Just like your uh, your partner, like your former partner. She couldn't. It, that, that's something minor. It was, man. I I beg. I don't beg a soul. Like that person I am. I don't even say sorry to my parents. You don't need to be begging nobody. I don't yeah. beg a soul. But that was my dog. I said, please. Like I want you still to be a part of this. It's not this serious. And my mama told me business and friendship. But my my assist my executive assistant. She can't be here today. We've been friends for ten years. All she want to do is support me, and that's yeah. all she been doing. We ain't never fall out. Never know a mess, and that just shows what type of friend she was and what type of friend she was. We've been friends for 10 years, still strong, and hey, she supports me to this day. What's that quote? Mama knows best. Mama mm-hmm. knows best. She knows best. And she was, and she was smiling. Ear to ear. You ain't lying. My mama ain't never been wrong about My mama ain't <laughs> never been wrong, man, since high school about all these friends. My mama never been wrong. It's crazy, but hey, listen to your mama. One, of the, one thing I also noticed on, I think it was either Facebook or Instagram, I think it was like when you announced maybe like the finalists or mm-hmm. I think you did like a couple rounds of like mm-hmm. finalists. I did see some negative comments and I was thinking to myself, I was like, some of these negative comments, I'm pretty sure they didn't even audition for they the show. They was in my DMs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They waited till you picked the cast and they, then they had an issue. With yep. It. A lot of people really thought it wasn't real. I oh, was, they thought you were playing they thought it was. They thought, they thought it was a game. A lot of people thought this one was a game until they seen that podcast. Mm-hmm. Then I got all y'all who was talking shit. And that's I'm just not the type of person like that to put nobody on blast. Right. They all in my messages trying to take these girl spots, trying to be my assistant, trying to do my hair, my nails. They all in my messages trying to try out for the show. No, I'm sorry. 
because these girls had the confidence to actually try out. And a lot of y'all people who say like like they're populars, mm. they don't got the confidence to come in real life in that 4D, 4K camera yeah. and really try out for something. Yeah. They internet soldiers or, or, or just, yeah. con- keep, you keep feel me? Yeah. Like these girls was the only ones. I got like, really I got like 300 signups. And out of that 300, like 40 girls really like showed up mm. out of 300. Mm. So like that really just shows a lot about our city. You feel me? Sure. But the thing is, we're not gonna say if we're gonna say when the show is uh, popular and whatnot, and it's gonna be successful. You are gonna do multiple seasons, right? So oh the yeah, girls this, this had, is ongoing. So the girls that had issues, like just do season two. <laughs> yeah, some of the some of the girls actually who was talking mess first round tried out second round. Mm. Um, but they just wasn't what I'm looking for. They told me, "Oh, I'm ratchet. I know how to fight next. That's not oh, what yeah. I'm looking for." Yeah. yeah. This is not bad girls club. This is not baddie south. This is not. This is not none of that. That's not what I'm looking for. Right. And so then when they see when that's not what I was looking for and they didn't make it to the finalist round, that's when they started talking mess. What was all the criteria for the auditions? Criteria really um entrepreneurs, businesswomen. I'm just okay. looking for people who really trying to do something with their life. Like not it's not all about fighting. Like everybody can fight. That's funny as hell. Like <laughs> it's not just about you you I'm ratchet one girl said, I swear. And it's like a really main thing where I'm really looking for people who can read. Mm. My <laughs> audition details were so Specific. <laughs> I said leave a minimum of of Hold on, read comprehend. Yeah, mean? yeah, that's they, a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They didn't comprehend yeah. <laughs> what I told them to read. I said get a, a minimum, like a little paragraph of why you think you should be on the show. Mm-hmm. One person was like, "Oh, I'm a bad B. I'm real fine." Okay. I think a lot of people get caught up in, you know, the idea of, hey, this is what I'm seeing on TV. This yeah. is what I'm, I, I know a reality show to exactly. be. They can't really uh, grasp that someone might want something a little bigger than that. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Uh, we do need to stop promoting all of this uh, negative ass you, bullshit. You feel and, me? And, like, and I want real TV. people, real stuff. Like, a lot of people got about, like, they was like, oh, where the bad bitches at? And, and mainly what they was talking about was BBLs, mm-hmm. designer. Mm hmm. That's not what no baddie is, baby. I, and I don't got nothing towards BBLs because some of them, they, they all fine. Yeah. I don't got nothing towards Especially BBLs. Especially when they done right now. I don't Ooh, got root. nothing. Yeah, I don't got nothing <laughs> towards designer. But that's not what a baddie is. You know what I'm saying? A baddie is someone, a, a baddie, what a baddie to me is how you carry yourself at the end of the day. 100%. I'm a single mother and I do my shit every day. I work. I take care of my child. I do what I got to do to get to the bag. If I'm not on the bag, I'm on the way to it. Yeah. That's what a baddie is in my eyes. It's about how you think of yourself. It's about the respect. When you walk in a room, everyone respects you. Mm-hmm. It's not just about having no designer. I don't even wear designer. But I can, I can dress out of Walmart and I can yeah. kill these hoes. Just because you wearing designer oh, don't mean you know how to dress. Right. Like If you don't know how to dress out of regular stores, you can't dress to me straight up. Yeah. Like And that's what people really get confused. It's really our generational fault. Like it, it really is, and I'm really trying to change that. That's not what no baddie is. Just because somebody got BBLs, and that girl who got a BBL right now is punching the air at home because she's depressed yeah, and miserable, yeah. and and that's really just the truth. Like that's not all what it is to being a, a female. It's so much more than that. Do you have respect for yourself? Mm-hmm. Are you driven? Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, like, if I can, real quick, uh, Poor Minds podcast, they had a, a segment to where they were talking about, um, and it was on another podcast, but they were talking about how their focus was never designer things when they were coming up. Mm-hmm. And I think that that was a really important message to to uh, stress to their audience. Right. Because when we think about their audience, we do think, you know, BBL and designers, exactly. things of that sort. But uh, they were talking about how they really grinded their way up to to where they're at now to where it's not so much them focusing on designers Mm -hmm. it's the fact that they're focusing on quality so i think a lot of what you're saying kind of uh (laughs) runs parallel to that in the sense there's no real focus on the facade as much as it is what goes into what you're doing exactly and what you'll get from it so all of that shit can come later exactly like it all can come later like glorilla as soon as she blew baby got her teeth fits you feel me like and, and she was beautiful before that. Yeah. But baby got that bad. Yeah. So yeah. treat yourself. You 100%. feel me? But be humble. And I and I like her because she she humble to me. One hundred percent. I love she's her. She's very humble. I, she's yeah. very humble, and I love her because you don't got to be spoty. You don't got to act like Beyonce. I'm sorry. Man, and I love that she preaching the family etiquette yeah. like kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She talking about you know both parties putting in fifty percent. Exactly. Like she talks That's about real. holding. Ain't like that. Yeah, that's yeah, a, like the <laughs> my dad, my mom, they are my 
top investors into my show, and and they support me a hundred percent. My daddy, really, the head of my my daddy paid for all the security. Mm -hmm. We have security at our events. He handled all of that. He don't he don't play. Yeah. My 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 whole family really. My stepdad, our photographer, he's a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. He took all of our pictures, all of our videography. Like it, it, yeah, so yeah, I, I really connect with Glow on the family part for real because your family is your biggest support system, mm -hmm. the right family. And I think it helps to define your morals. So exactly, and, and it shows. It shows a lot about a person. Indeed, and, and, and we're and like yeah. Okay, okay, y'all know something. Come on now. Hey, know look, some. we got some, uh, my, uh, what they say? I got a long tooth. I'm long with <laughs> tooth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, All right, so real quick, uh, Mimi, uh, I want you to clear something up, Some something that happened, because I, it was something negative. She got to go on the bed. Uh, uh -oh. I thought you said, yeah, you should. I she was lying. I was lying. I am down for this, because I already know what's coming up. Come on, get it to me. <laughs> Clear, clear the air about that. You know that situation. Give it to me. Okay. The little, the Matter of fact, I don't even need them. Somebody, because I seen it on Duval promo, and they shouldn't have posted that, to be honest. First of all, they didn't even post the actual video, and that's really the guy. It was some other video of, I don't even know who it was, yeah. but they were just trying to get a little clout off my little name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, that, they okay. shouldn't have posted that, to be honest. I think they posted, like, they, like, go to our Twitter and look right. at it. Right, and yeah. it was just just a little, what, what's it called? A clip hanger or whatever? Something yeah. just to clip show. Hanger, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It wasn't even us. Okay, let's go in and clear this area. This will be my last time. <laughs> um, it really had nothing to do with the show at all. Yeah. Um, one of the contestants from the first round who was trying out, she was on a personal vendetta. Prior to tryouts, she was beefing with China Cash. China Cash don't even know this girl at all. Yeah. She was just beefing with her from the start, thinking that she was on my show. She was just a, a supporting friend. You know, right. she has nothing to do with the show at all. She was coming to my audition thinking this girl was going to be here. Wasn't even there. She in Atlanta on a red carpet for her premiere. Yeah, not even there. She seen someone who was a a, a close friend to China. Started antagonizing him, antagonizing him. We escorted her out. We all upstairs twerking, dancing, having a good time, waiting, just taking a little break. Man, I hear security, security, security. I come downstairs. This girl boyfriend is downstairs outside fighting with my security guards. Out of nowhere, this man had a gun. Shots was fired. No one was hurt. Thank God. Um, but that's yeah, that's literally what happened. It had nothing to do with the show. This girl came try out. This girl came looking for this girl. wasn't even here. Got escorted immediately. As soon as we came downstairs, her boyfriend was already in our door. And this was my family's mm -hmm. studio. Mm -hmm. Why would I try to sabotage that? Right. Exactly. This is my family's place of work. You feel me? And shots were fired. They started fighting. And yeah, that's what happened. Um, but they both have been handled accordingly. We just had to go to court a couple of months ago about this because I wasn't playing no games. Yeah, no. Um, he got handled accordingly. She got handled accordingly. Disqualified immediately. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then yeah, that's really what happened. Like it really was just a worst case scenario. Seriously, like that. And it's crazy. I should have never let her try out. Four days before that, she texted my management, which is my mom. She texted her on Instagram and said, "If I get in a fight at the auditions, will I get disqualified?" Yeah, that would have been a red yeah, flag. And, and you know, my daddy said, Mimi, why would you let her try out? But I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. I was like, girl, you don't have to come here to fight. Like, why are you already expecting that you're going to fight somebody? You know what I'm saying? So I still let her girl try out. That was a red flag. But me being me, being super savable, I let her try out. And then this girl sabotaged my whole audition. But she ain't stop it, though, because as you see, we had a round two, and it was very successful. One but monkey can't stop no show. Can't, one monkey can't stop no show when she mad, boy. Yeah. When she seen that this jump was still rolling, that girl sent papers to our door, had to go to court. Yeah, that's why I was giving you the opportunity to clear the air because I don't want nobody to think like, oh, you was doing that on some publicity or something like that. So just clear yeah. that up because that's what they was acting like at yeah, first. Yeah, and, you, and it's, it's, it's crazy because like I said, people want the mess. They don't want the truth. They don't really want to know the real facts for real. Who sabotages their own freaking audition? Right. <laughs> we almost got shot. Yeah. Who was finna sabotage my life? I got kids. Yeah. Like, that was my family studio, and we are still battling with that. Like, no. This yeah, is no be... publicity stunt. Like, this was our place of work. How my parents get money. Mm -hmm. Like, and so, yeah, I was very upset. I cried. I was so sad. 
I was gonna stop it all, but no, nah, I ain't do it, so I kept it rolling. But yeah, that's what happened, y'all. Nah, that's good. I mean, uh, it could definitely leave a negative connotation to have shit like that happen. But I think that your perseverance speaks volumes. You know what I mean? And I think that the fact that you know uh, the contestants and those who are actually on the show continue to stick it out with you says a lot. You know what I mean? Yes, and I, about I love what them you're for doing that. and everything. So yeah, salute yes. to you. Thank you. But like, it's crazy because my PR team, they was like, Mimi, you're so sad, but good publicity is good publicity. Bad publicity is good publicity. Yeah. I was going to say it. After that, publicity. the jump really did blow up, but I hated that because yeah. I really didn't want to go up off of that. You know what I'm saying? That jump had like a million views, like on Facebook. I was so sad because like people were like, oh my God, oh my God, what is this? I was like, oh my gosh. But they was like, Mimi, your followers is going up. <laughs> I really didn't care, but. You will get some people that's gonna tune in off of that. Yeah, yeah and, and sure, that's what they sure. was. They, somebody in the comments was like, "I'm just here to make sure somebody got shot." Huh? That's crazy. Like that's it's crazy. it's like it's crazy, and it's people. Now, that's, it's that's people in our say, city, yeah. and it's sad. But I'm gonna change that because we don't need to be like that. Like we can all get it. You feel me? One hundred percent. And I think even talking to you, um, that's the vibe that you give off. You know that you 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 ain't focused on no mess. You uh, yeah, oh, like more more I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the money. I'm trying to take this somewhere. I ain't trying to sabotage my stuff. Sure. Right. But yeah, that's what happened. All well, right. all right. Tell us a little bit about who you brought with you today. Okay, so I did bring a few cast members. Um, we got Miss Deidre Duval in here, aka Lola. We have Baby Hairs, aka T, and then we have Corporate Baddie. Her name is So So. These these this bunch right here, y'all gonna see. They 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 fun. They wild. I love them to death. And I know you all been hearing them over there. So yeah, yeah. So they they lit. I'm so ready for them to come it was, up. It was supposed to be four of them. So it was supposed gonna, to be four. What we gonna do is points what? deducted on her too. She <laughs> already know that. You heard that. All right. So while you on the couch, we're just gonna bring one in, and then we're gonna do the two. Perfect. The two. So okay, you, you get to pick. Let's go, Miss Deidre. She should have known I was gonna pick her first. <laughs> hey baby. Yo. How you doing? Hey go your mic. Period. Yeah, go ahead and adjust it so you can get comfortable. People can hear you and everything. I'm oh, you're gonna loud. need a little closer now. <laughs> She's gonna say I'm already loud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so Miss DJ, how you doing? I'm good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? I'm twenty four. Okay. What do you do? You seem a little right, shy now. Nah. You, yeah, I mean, you got to talk. I was going to say, these one word answers now, nah, that should have get your ass left on red. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Quiet. You feel me? She ain't quiet. Hey, I would have seen that shit and be like, hi. Right, red. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, talk to us. Okay, I'm Deidre. I'm 24. Well, I just turned 24. I'm a Libra, you know. Libras be over the top. We them bitches, you know. Okay, talk <laughs> your shit now. Nah. I'm a Virgo. Um, I just tell people I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that part. <laughs> I leave it there. Okay, so um, what you asked me? Uh just tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you got going? Okay. Right now I'm helping my little sister. Well, I'm working with my little sister on this um business where we're selling lip gloss, organic lip gloss, and organic organic body scrubs and lotions. And I also dance and I also do OnlyFans. Whatever, you know, I'm a single mom, so basically I just do whatever to make sure my kids got, you know. For sure, for sure. Hey, salute to that. You know what I'm saying? We do got a little clap that we normally do, but it's a Yakubian clap, and we don't need 30 <laughs> white folks in here talking about, yeah. <laughs> so, nah, that's what's up. Um, how long have you and your sister started? Uh, how long has it been now since you guys have started? It's been about a year and a half. We just really started. Um, she lives in um, New Orleans, so majority of the sales be in New Orleans. But I'm trying to move the business to Florida too, so I'm going to be moving some of the shipment down here. It's going to start in a few months. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Sound like you got some big things in the works. Yeah. And definitely uh, good to have family on your side, like Mimi was saying with her uh, production yes. and everything. Mm -hmm. So, so um, as far as being on a reality show, she grinning. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought you would be on a reality yes. show? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm on Disney. Oh, Period. You did? Yes. Oh. I already knew it. What you was on that so right? I went down a bad spiral in okay. my life. Mm -hmm. I had went from one thing. I went to the La Villa School of the Arts. Yes, I played sports. I was in La Villa for acting. I know how to do all of that. I've done modeling for sessions in Orange Park, and then I started going to jail. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. I met a group of people, changed story. my life, and then I had my first child. And then I changed back. 
And then I didn't really have to have that much responsibility over my first child, so I went back to the streets. Mm. I had too much support, basically. All right. My family was keeping the baby, and I really didn't have no words. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the streets. I was still going to jail and stuff. I didn't learn. Then I had my second baby. And when I went to court, they took me away. They took my baby away from me. And then that was just the last time. I just knew I had to change my life. I hear that. So then after that, I just calmed down. And then that was it. Now I'm just here. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, Jacksonville used to have a show. I forget the name of it, man. Classic show. But uh, they always ended every episode with, if you ain't focused, you hopeless. And I thought that, that stuck with me always. But um, I think that it's really good that, you know, you had something that, that was able to focus you up. You know what I mean? Um. So tell us about like now uh, staying away from the streets. How is that? You know, because I know it has its challenges. I'm sure you get calls every now yeah. and then. That's like, yo, you could do this, <laughs> It'd be make hard, some quick money. But at the end of the day, I think about my churn. And ever since that happened to me, I realized then they took me away from her for like two months. Yeah. And I had just had her. Mm. So I thought me missing tough, that. Yeah. They really showed me like I'm a mom. I need to be here. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I just realized I ain't got time for this. I don't got time for nothing but them. That's my world. That's what's up. I love that. So now that you're on the show, all right, and you're juggling everything on the side, um, how do you feel like this plays a role in your personal life, you know? Is this something that you're hoping um, you can kind of continue on, like being on different uh, yes. reality shows, being on TV, yes. period? Yes. Okay. I, um... I mentioned to Mimi in my audition that I wanted to be able to network with different people, you know, um, promote my business on the show sometimes. Not too much, you know, but right, right. sometimes get it out there. And I want to start a YouTube channel. I'm not sure what I want to do on there yet because I'm really funny, but I don't know if I want to be <laughs> funny or serious. But I already started the channel, but there's no videos on there. You could be both, you know what right. I mean? Show your personality. I think that's what's winning the most on I love YouTube me now, somehow. you know? <laughs> I mean, it seems like you got a big personality, so yes. you got a, you got a bag out there for you. Definitely. All right, so since the show is a competition, you, you got what it takes to win. I'm the winner. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. I already know I'm winning. There we go. I'm the favorite. Okay. I'm winning. All right. I, I like the confidence. Everybody think I'm their favorite. Eep. I'm so, so favorite. T favorite. <laughs> favorite. Karma favorite. You Joe favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you miss it? Yeah. I, I, now, I ain't met none of y'all yet, you know what I mean? So, you know. Hey, she say, I'm waiting over here. I'm patient. I'm, I ain't gonna lie though. With Deidre, even to be honest, when I seen her audition tape, on, on a real note, like her junk really spoke to me more than like everyone else's. She had a whole intro, baby. Like, already Duval Spine is already on the show. Yeah. I love that. Because I'm like that, too. I already think I'm here. Yeah. So, I love that. She was like, hey, hoes. I'm Deidre. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Like, so I was like, okay, yes. And she came to the auditions. My mom was like, is that Deidre? Girl, you my favorite, girl. I'm like, mama, you can't <laughs> tell them that. I'm but not I, my favorite, really. I honestly. love me some Deidre. <laughs> I, I love her. She's real sweet. She can get sporty, too, not only if she, if she need be. She real sweet. I, I love everything about her. She be turned. We be turned. She's very caring. At the end of the day, like I said, her mouth can get smart now. <laughs> just don't try me. Yeah, and I don't, don't like miss. Right. She don't like miss. I don't miss. like miss. I, I'm going to have to drop some clips at the group chat because the group chat be spicy. <laughs> I'm going to have so, to drop some clips. Let me ask you this. Um, while y'all are doing, uh, you know, your tasks and things of that sort, do you have to check a few of uh, your... Uh, your uh, <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Tell me. <laughs> your your uh, co-parts, your counterparts and such? Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> bitches like to throw shade and hide the hand, and I don't like that. Yeah, I hear Real that. bitches don't do that. Because me, I got some shit to say, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say, yeah, bitch, I said it, and that's what I mean. I respect that. Period. 100%. And, and, and she fuck. do. 100%. And she do. Trust. Where are you from? Here, no. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I would have thought a little. I thought I thought you I were thought from, you Louisiana. from Louisiana. Oh, oh, Louisiana. <laughs> with your with your accent, I definitely thought you was from Louisiana because no. I'm from Pensacola, and you don't hear as strong a uh, southern. Country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I get that like. a lot. <laughs> they be saying Alabama too. I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm from here though. 24 years, born and raised. That's what's up. So, yes. what's your experience been with the show so far? It's been a great experience. I really like the sisterhood bond because mm -hmm. I have a sister, but we're not really close. 
And it's like I, all my friends, they're like my real sisters. I always connected to girls that wasn't my really fan, like really my family. And then it's like I have more sisters now. That's what's up. I can call them and hang out with them, text them. You know, the other day Candy just called me. We just had a little meet up talk session. And the other day me, T and J just ate crabs. That's what's up. Oh y'all did. Oh <laughs> y'all did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so y'all oh, y'all know about that. I ain't know about that. <laughs> don't love me some crabs, but it's all good though. Don't, don't I don't think points. it's a Duval <laughs> woman that don't I love crabs. Points. You know, yeah, every Jackson woman loves crabs. <laughs> Child, an extra ball, an extra season. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, so that's good that there is some sisterhood in the in the group and whatnot. Uh, would you say that y'all feel like y'all can depend on each other? Do you think that y'all will be able to rely on each other out after this show? Well, Joe, you got to remember, it's a competition, though. True indeed. Yeah, yeah. I forget. I forget. I <laughs> ain't no friends. Ain't no friends in this shit. Hey, yeah. they in the back. Barton, too. They like, hey, whoa, nah, <laughs> hell nah. Hey, she get cut ain't helping quick. nobody win. It, do, nah, it get cut real she get cut quick. Real quick. You it can't, do. I don't know. I love them. Uh-huh. To a certain extent. I heard that. I heard that. I heard See. that. I can respect that. I can respect that. What's been some of the uh, biggest challenges you faced on the show? The heels. <laughs> the heels. Mm-hmm. The hey, heels. You like you came I in falling. Today. Falling, don't I? It's falling <laughs> and getting back up. I it's okay, that. don't Hey, you? that's all that's all that matter. Heel class coming soon. Yes. Heel class coming soon. The right. heels. Let's see what else. Um I'm gonna be honest, once you master the heels though, the world is yours. These just okay, the these little slide on. Yeah, it be when I be trying to do too much, trying to be like me, me and them, then I be falling down. <laughs> <laughs> so they be running in the hills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she would Diamond Duval be squirting in the mud. I don't know how she be doing that. I be saluting anybody, any woman that can do all of that. I'm like, you shit. Be real strong. It's tennis shoes. I can't do yeah. all of that shit in. Nah, you know? for real. <laughs> that would be a good episode. Diamond Duval giving a little heel lesson. Mm, I'm that, might have hey, to do something There you go. There you I'm going to have to do something for real, though. I love me some her. <laughs> and I, you better get ready because um, Deidre, um, December fourth, we have a photo shoot slash fashion show. So yeah, um, okay. yeah, the show um hooked me up with a fashion show. I'm grateful for that. That's you gonna excited? put me on. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm excited for that too. I can't wait. Shout so, out to Audrey. What do you feel like makes you a baddie? I feel like I'm a baddie because it doesn't matter what day, where I'm at, how I'm feeling. I wake up and I'm me. Whatever room I'm walking in, I'm me. I always voice my opinion. I never let nobody tell me what it is. I let them know what it is, what it ain't off the ripple. I'm not a, I'm not scared to voice my opinion. And basically, I'm just I just feel like I'm a bad bitch because I'm a single mom and I really like do this. I got three kids. Mm. I take care of all three kids by myself. I'm only 24 years old. Yeah. So I just feel like that just made me a bad bitch shit. I'm superwoman out here. Period. I heard that. You ain't lying. Any woman period. kid. Women, period, superwoman. Period. All right. I'm tripping. I'm looking at the roster right now. DJ, what's your nickname? Lola. 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 How you got that nickname? That's what I call myself. They call me Deidre Duval. Let me tell y'all about this nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what y'all what y'all nickname to be? I thought my name was still going to be Deidre Duval, but no. They was like, what you want your other name to be? So I just told them Lola. Yeah. Okay. So- when did you come up with Lola? Like, when I was did you? Young. <laughs> when I was young, I had a lot of personalities. I was going through this little crazy thing. I used to call myself Lola, Deidre, well, Lilo. You still, you still young, still. Yeah, yeah, no, you still girl, very young. When I was like girl. 16, oh, 14. Oh, okay. You making 15. me feel old over here. You keep talking about when I was young. I'm <laughs> like, shit, hold up. I got some young grades girl, under this hat. I ain't just come up with that. Oh, I was older. I've been calling myself that because I love the Lola Bunny. Right. That's one of my favorite characters. And I was going to ask that. Lilo and Stitch. I love me some Stitch. Okay. Okay. That's what should have been your name. I ain't gonna lie, Lilo and Stitch was actually kind of fire. I love me some Lilo. That little and monster, Stitch. you know what I'm saying? He held it down for the for the island. Yeah, you know definitely I mean? did. They big on family. I'm I was just about to family. say Oana. Oh, yes. <laughs> big on family. I'm big on family. <laughs> nah, that's dope though. That's dope. Um, I was telling Amp earlier. I mean, we Amp knows this, but we was uh we had another interview, and I'm huge on animations and whatnot. So much you could take from them, you know. So. Any of them that got a good message, I'm 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 all for it. So, all right, DJ, I'm looking forward to the pictures of that fashion show because I like your outfit. You got yeah, yeah, you definitely look snazzy now. DJ be styling now. She be styling now. I be trying. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, you definitely looking good for sure. Thank you. All right, I think we can do a swap out now. Hold up, before you go, maybe because you got swap out. Uh, what was my question? 
What's the goal for the show? And is it on a network? Is it gonna be on YouTube? What is the show gonna be on? Um, so we will be on a network. Um, actually, our network reveal party is coming soon. Okay. Uh, you know, due to contracts, NDAs, I'm oh, yeah, 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 a- right. able to disclose it, but we will be on TV. This will be on the actual network. Um, but we also, until we are actually in the house filming, we do post on our YouTube channel, our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We try to just keep it. Keep the keep the content, keep the people grabbing until we actually start filming on the network. Our network reveal party is coming soon. I'm so excited for that. So yeah, right. stay tuned, horse. Stay tuned to the to the IG right. You gonna announce it? On yes, that. yes. All right, sure. It will Looking be forward. announced on the Instagram, the Facebook. Looking we will be going live. Well, we need to. Well, we're not closing out the show, but you about to leave. So. Real quick, uh, DJ, go ahead and uh, plug your uh, oh, yeah. social yes, media, your Instagram stuff. information, and everything like that, so people know where to follow you and how to support your businesses. Okay, my Facebook is going to be Deidre D E I D R E last name Taylor. My IG is I adore you dot no, it's I adore dot you. It that'll be I A D O R E dot. Y O U U U U because they keep making me make new pages. We're gonna, but yeah, it's gonna pop up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll make sure it's y'all up. can follow me on there. I don't TikTok. I'm not good at it, so I don't have that. <laughs> if you're gonna do YouTube, hey, you got TikTok right in the same bag. Mm-hmm. So hey, you just clip the YouTube clips. There it is. Right on yeah. you. We, we we gonna help you out. Yeah, yeah. All her fans and supporters, right? make sure y'all vote for her. Vote for make me. Sure y'all yeah, vote for, for her sure. now. I already know y'all gonna vote for me. <laughs> there it is. That's the confidence you gotta have from what I take away. For real. Period. Well, ladies, hey, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Mm. Uh, Miss Mimi, who we got next coming up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Come on, baby Harris, because I know you ready. <laughs> baby Spody now, y'all. Child, baby Harris is a trip. You hear me? Look at her. You see her? Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all finna get me nervous now. Hello. Howdy do, howdy do. Good, how are you? Alright. Mm, fix it. <laughs> oh my god me, You're not gonna do this. We both Pisces, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, we both Pisces, so I already know. Watch it. I, 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 I act like that too. So that's why I already understand. So, uh, uh, well, we ain't gonna ask you why your nickname Baby Hairs, I think. Because y'all, y'all should already know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even make that nickname. Who made that up? Me. You, you made that up? I made that nickname up for picture. her. It was me, yes. It was me, my yeah. best friend, and um, my CO and my um, assistant. Because Baby just always come. Baby Hairs just be slaves. So yeah. it was like, okay, Baby Hairs, come on now. You know, like women, like. We like black women. We always be like, okay, come on now, jeans. Like, yeah, you know yeah, how you yeah, like, yeah. so, uh, yeah, that's how we did. Yeah, you know, baby hair. And that's I'm the baby up. of the group, too. I'm the youngest. Oh, yeah. And she is the youngest. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what made you want to come on to the show? Um, well, I'm not from here, first of all. Um, I came here by myself. And I always wanted my own show. But I just felt like I come from a city with no love. Like, everybody hate each other. And yeah. I just felt like. What's Could it city? happen? What huh? city? Fort Pierce, Florida. Okay. You pass it, pass Orlando, yeah. you'll see it. But um, yeah, like everybody hate each other, and I'm like the most hated. <laughs> like I don't know why. Like everybody. That sounds like a terrible city. Everybody hate each other. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, no, I got a big. They suffer. They no. listen to too, too much raw wave down there. Nah, so, bullshit. No, like I got a um like a good a, amount of support down there, but majority <laughs> we don't like each other. You, y'all know that we don't like each other. So it's been like that. Yeah. So you at the gas station? You go inside, pay for your gas. You come Bitch out. Bitches looking. Your tire slash. Yeah. Damn, Damn. that's yeah. crazy. They won't say nothing though. They're just gonna look at you. That's all they do. That's all yeah, they that's can all do. They Cause do. they be knowing for real. Untouched. Mm. So, how uh, how's the show experience been for you? It's been amazing. Like, I love the experience. Like I love meeting new people, new personalities. Like I'm still working with everybody. Like everybody different than me. Like we can all teach each other something. Like I love it. That's what's Thank up. Thank you, Mimi. Girl, you welcome, girl. So it sounds like there is a pretty good camaraderie amongst everybody that's uh, yes. that's on the show. I already have my two favorites, Deidre and Jay. You already know. Yes. Okay. And I don't know why Jay not here. She's supposed to be right <laughs> next to me. So yeah, they they got their little teams already. They mm-hmm. look they look they look, <laughs> look teams. And I can't yes, do attitude yeah. real quick if Jay not with me or Deidre. Yes. Jay ain't here. 
points. Jay not points here. Yeah, Jay not yeah. here. Jay not here. She know how many points. Bye bye. Uh, she ain't get. Uh, 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 she ain't get the chance to yeah, come. Yeah, she didn't come. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it should have been her with me though. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, when when gotcha. the show dropped, we need and to let do, me tell y'all why. We need to do another episode after me and Joe watch it. Yeah, these we'll two, Jay and, and T. <laughs> that's why I separate them. They, and <laughs> I don't know why because I like to see when they together. T they word. Both, they, yeah, so I like to see how she acts. By herself. Sad. And I like to see how Jay acts by herself. Because it's not going to always be both of y'all. Right, right. Yeah. So that's why I, everything I do is for a reason. Nah, that's actually really good. Because I think that there is something to learn from it. I see you over here. but They, don't be, they don't be liking it. I don't so, care. <laughs> You got to take away this one, uh, even in your pursuit of, you know, starting businesses and maintaining mm-hmm. them, uh, you are going to have to work with different personalities and things of that sort. You're going to have to meet new yeah. people. And sometimes you might not always be as comfortable. So, yeah, even though it's a competition, nothing wrong with having teams. I, <laughs> yeah. I remember on Flavor of Love, uh, Bucky, what was it, Bucky? I forgot the two girls, little Bucky and something. I think Bucky well, and Hoops. They Bucky to was my favorite. Bucky, yeah, I used to love Bucky. Bucky was fine as hell. And she that was. Ass. Yeah, I mean. It was. And delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about delicious now. Not nah, delicious. Something delicious was delicious. I like she looked crazy like now today. She was Woo. crazy. No, like yeah, the, she was. I like the new face delicious. Like yeah, yeah. New turn. face delicious. Oh, face. oh my God. Well, I ain't see the new face. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Volume, volume 10 face. You yeah, see yeah, 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 yeah. She updated. She updated every year. So, uh, baby hairs. How you found out about the show? Um, I think I was scrolling through, and no, somebody had reposted it, and I was like, I clicked it. I was like, Ooh, let me. I'm, I'm the perfect fit. Like my personality, everything. Just, I'm, I'm there. I'm up there. So, I'm already a YouTuber. You already know Tiana Gabrielle. Okay. So, yeah. So you, when you saw it, you was like, I'm the baddest. I mean, I humble myself, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I talk your shit. Like, I did come. I did have a few eyes on me, so. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. You did the first batch of audition or you did the second? Both. I had to both. make sure I was there for uh, both of them. Yeah, okay. Both. Mm-hmm. So what, with the first batch, you ain't tell them who won? I mean, who was accepted at that oh, time? Oh, I was or? there at Boston Richie. Yeah. I was in that picture. The one y'all call ugly. Yeah, she yeah was. I was there. <laughs> She we ain't call it ugly now. Nah. No, we ain't call it ugly. Oh, <laughs> no, um, yeah, the first round I only chose like I chose like a few finalists like Deidre, mm-hmm. uh, J T, yeah. a couple of others. Uh, Miss mm-hmm. Classy, she not here. Y'all gonna oh, see so y'all this. first round picks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah so um, they was automatically. We been through the dough. Yeah, they automatically went to. I was second already through the dough when I stepped in. What you talking okay. About? Ooh. Okay. Okay. See, she's, they spicy now. You see, they be spicy, y'all. I like that they yeah. feed off of each other. They with do. It. Yeah, they, they love it. They feed off each other. I be loving it. I be here for it all. Yeah, that's I what's love up. It. I feel like everybody got a mouth in the house, and like, ooh, yeah. my mouth. It's, it's it's everybody do have a mouth. Right. Yeah. All right, so everybody look, got a mouth. So. Let me ask you this: Are y'all are you are you nervous to move into the house? Are you are you nervous? No, we're to... we're ready. Like we waiting on Mimi. We can move in tomorrow. <laughs> like, what's up? They say they're ready, but they really ain't ready for this lineup. All right, now look. They really let me ask ready. you this: Have yeah. you ever had a roommate live with someone outside of your family? No. Okay. My boyfriend, but no. All right, even that. I mean. Yeah, it could be challenging now. You get a lot of different personalities. Yeah, I'm still working. I'm still learning on working with everybody's personality. Yeah, so keep yeah. that in mind now. I got Some one Some things myself, that you're cool so with. Just like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> After a while, it might get a little tough. Cause they, they... It's already tough. It's already it spicy. Is. It, boy, what? this group chat, boy. Oh, my hmm. goodness, man. This group chat. Hang on a second. Hopefully the group chat don't leak one day. Oh, Lord. It, it already has. Oh, oh what? Lord. It already has. Stay tuned. Mm. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> this show about to be fine. It's yeah, about to be I'm, fine. I'm, I'm, it really is. Everybody sleeps so excited. Us. Yes. I'm so happy. How many people are being in each room? This is the thing, because they don't even know. They really think that they finna pick their own rooms. Right. They ain't. Um, I don't care what room. Just put me with my dog. And she think that. Ain't oh, my God. <laughs> the thing about me, see, I don't like making new. I just I like to keep the same people around me. See, I'm going to tell you what, though. People. That'll keep you limited. I think Mimi I think Mimi setting y'all up for some success now. I am. And failure. Let me stop. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's funny as fuck. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Mimi said, wait. Let me Don't stop. forget. Let me stop. But no, really what we are doing though, um, when this show, when is it going to air? Probably next week. 
Okay. So what we are gonna do though, um, we're gonna do a challenge. I don't um shout out the cheap steak rentals, um, boats and cruises. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna do an aqua roulette challenge. And I don't know if you guys okay. ever seen the little aqua roulette thing yeah. on the boat, it spins. All right. So everyone is fighting for the big room. Man, they jumping already. You already know. So, I'm still hanging on there. So everyone is fighting for the big room. So we're gonna do aqua roulette challenge yeah. for whoever gets the big room and she can pick who she's gonna have in there. Okay. So that's how we're gonna do that. And everybody else, their names will be on the doors. I'll probably have like it's six of them. So like three people each room. Some people gonna be in them bunk beds. So we're gonna see. <laughs> you know we're gonna see. They been fighting. No bunk bed, baby. You might have to have them shoot dice to pick who bed what bed Some, and shit. Cause, cause I already know they ready. They already know they ready. They ready. To, they ready for the challenge for these rooms, child. That's what's up. That's I'm excited what's up. for that. Space tournament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. <laughs> I don't know. See, look, I don't know if they know how to play spades now. I mean, I hey. you know how to play spades? I don't think so. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, real you know how to play spades? Yeah, I know. Oh. I, I know. Did you know how to play spades? I know how to do that. You, you, my favorite. Over I there, know. You know how to play spades, <laughs> and I whoop y'all ass in tongue too. Oh, oh hold up, now you taking the tongue? Yeah. What? Because <laughs> I got, I got cars. I got cars in the car. Oh, she's I serious. I got cars in the car. I don't play. What? Oh, baby, that's the only way we play I talk. That's the only way we play ready, talk. Baby. I got a space table ready, baby. I don't play no games. That's a whole episode right there. I'm telling so you. So a day in the car, I'll bring him in. Now, matter of fact, you might need to do that on the show now. That'll Have be a, fun. That, that, that got to be a point caliber somewhere. Uh, can you play spades or not? For, you for know real. What I'm oh, black, right. black car revoking. Like, yeah, you know yeah, I'm straight you gotta up. You got to know how to play spades. I'm going to be over niggas' shoulders like, I know you ain't with me. I be talking shit at the table. You hear me? I swear. You got to. Straight up. That's how you get head. That's it. Hey, man, go ahead and teach the baddies. You feel me? You know? I'm, we might have to have a little lesson. Yeah. Because we got a lot of challenges that we're going to have in the house. A lot of challenges. They're going to be in the woods. Okay. A lot of them ain't ready for that. Are, are we talking about mm-hmm. camping? Mm-hmm. Stay Uh-oh. tuned. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want to stay too much. I don't want to stay too much, but stay tuned. All right. We're going to pray for them baby hairs now. Pray for them, baby. What? No AC. Straight down. <laughs> it's hot in here. Like, what? Yeah, oh, they ain't hey. going to be ready for that. So, so you mind bumping down that AC for me? He told so you mind bumping down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for y'all to see this stuff. I don't do the bugs. I don't do... That was a little um, sneak peek right there. You feel comfortable? You telling them too much? Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't tell y'all too I don't much. Know if y'all but that was a little sneak peek. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm not saying Appreciate it. Nah, I'm going to be in here chilling. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's hot in here because he be having it on hell. I I I I, I don't like being cold personally. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? I'm I think like boy. this is neutral. I like a lukewarm. Yeah. You know, I'd yeah. rather be hot than cold. It's a hot boy. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't like sweating. No. Baby oh, hairs. You, you about to be in trouble in the woods. She's so I'm about to be in trouble. Locked up. I'll sleep it. in the car. Ain't gonna be no cause, baby. You gonna be in that tent? Straight tent. Hey. I hope you know how to pitch it. Hey, listen. Oh yeah, stay tuned for that. Ain't gonna be no Wi-Fi out there. Nothing, baby. Damn. Nothing, baby. They bringing their phones. No so y'all, look at so y'all really, y'all welcome. <laughs> we already telling y'all a little bit of, of yeah. the show. All right, we got the R.O.P. exclusive. Right, and this this first, you nobody go, else. You gotta go hardcore with it. You gotta have, like. Making like hot dogs and shit in the fire. They don't even know. They, they, got, they, they don't even know they yeah. got to catch their own food in the water. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Lord. Yeah. Man, I'm bringing my oh, own food in my bag. What you talking about? Mimi. Mimi. Hey, y'all, I'm so excited for this, y'all. Right. I be planning. She's going to be laughing. She's turning us up. And y'all don't even know. She I ain't going to be there. I'm going to be watching for the house. <laughs> <What? laughs> Hey, this you show about to be funny hey, as hell. I will not be outside, baby. Good look. Yeah, you don't need to be out. They, they got to be outside. I'm like, telling you. I'm, I'm dropping them off. <laughs> what Martin say? Pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I mean, look, all of y'all got some good personalities. You know what I mean? Um, I'm liking the, the camaraderie amongst everybody and whatnot. Uh, baby hairs, what do you hope to gain from the show? Well, I want to start my business soon, my photography business. So maybe this can help me bring a few customers in, you know. For sure. And a few subscribers in, because I am a YouTuber. So there it is. There it is. She's also, lot, I have she's a, also a dental so. assistant. And I'm a dental yeah. assistant, y'all. Come on, talk your shit. This is yeah. the time. You know assistant. what I'm saying? I'm you got the camera. I can do it all. I can do my hair. I can do makeup. I'm learning to do nails. I can. 
take your pictures. I can make sure you look good. Period. I can do everything. Just teach me. Period. That's all. Come on. So I like that. I salute Definitely. to that for sure. For sure. All right. Here we go. We're gonna do the last swap. Real quick mm-hmm. before we let you go, do you have anything you feel like the people should know about you? Don't plug me. Oh. I'm nice. There it I'm, is. I'm nice, but. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know what it much. is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, it's the quiet people that just. You got to watch out for them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they really do be the craziest yeah. ones. I ain't going to cap now. But go ahead and shout yourself Real out, crazy. baby. Hills. Yeah, give go them your ahead, social follow media. Me. I'm dot T. I am dot T E E E. If you're not, make sure y'all like. Yeah. I ain't going to say too much. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> And huh? subscribe, Tiana Gabrielle. Before you go, make sure you watch some camping videos. Oh my she, god, she, she better start looking. I Y'all can be laughing at me. I don't she do the animals. We I don't are. None of that. <laughs> it is. I like, to, I like to sit pretty and look cute, like, <laughs> and get paid, like. Period. That's it. All I do is work. By the way, like. You gonna sit pretty on the li- on that little creek? <laughs> <laughs> oh catching, my god. look, catching trout. <laughs> oh lord. Last one. Come on, corporate. <laughs> Dang, I can't stay. Girl, see what I told y'all, baby I'm heads. You see what I told y'all. I'm not you see what I told okay. y'all. Baby heads. That's okay. Look, come on, baby heads. It's whatever. It's whatever here. they say. We can't the podcast. You uh, I, I, I need to be in the middle. I need to be in the middle. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Nah, this girl, y'all, she oh is funny. God. I love her. Now, see, you got to make sure that they can hear you on the mic, too. Okay, now. my man. Which one should I use? She loud. Don't do her. Honestly, at work, they be like, you're so shy and quiet. But I'm like, I'm the only black person here and the only female. Y'all be quiet. <laughs> so, yeah. But go ahead. I'm sorry. So, now, nah, tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm from Haiti. You can hear the accent, of course. For sure. Came here when I was 10 years old. Work corporate America. That's why I'm called Miss Corporate. I don't know what else to say. So I heard you talking before we started recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, you say you, you you got some things in the works. What are uh, what are you working towards right now? Honestly, I am a recruiter, mm-hmm. and especially well, with this economy. Don't do Joe. Don't do Joe. Like, let, touch touch <laughs> let me touch my nose. Let me touch my nose one time yeah. and, and continue. Don't do Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing, I'm messing with him. <laughs> He's saying I shouldn't have been all in your business. You know what I mean? But <laughs> nah, she was big flexing. You know what I'm saying? She I'm not flexing. Nah, nah, nah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Girl, flex. I don't don't talk your shit. Ain't nothing wrong with flexing a little bit. Hey, look. <laughs> They they ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they came over here and say why wow, they the baddest. I'm a silence killer though. Oh, I'm gonna be like, you go. Mm, and next thing you know, just, you I'm a Gemini, so you never know what you're gonna get with us. I don't like y'all Virgos. Though <laughs> my sister's a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> stand, y'all. See, that's crazy. Virgos yeah. they know everything. Yeah. Oh my I can't God. stand out like, uh uh-uh, uh, go ahead, Virgo. <laughs> I'm sorry, back on topic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, first, I'm in the process of opening a Haitian restaurant with my dad. We just need the spot. Everything is already situated. The cook, everything is already. We just need the spot. And right. It's been a challenge. Um, my One of my big projects that I really want to work with, because I am a recruiter, I've been doing this for two years plus, and with this economy, I really want to start a nonprofit organization that can really help people with interviewing. That's Don't something you? you really challenge. I'll interview somebody, they're just like stuttering and scared. I'm just like, it's okay. You don't have to do that. Man. I'm really chill. Like, you don't have to be nervous. So, my job, I try to make them as comfortable as they feel. Even if they answer the question wrong, me personally, I'll ask them again. For sure. Because I understand nerve plays a big part. That's probably their first time interviewing for, well, you know, this type of work. Right. So, I actually want to build a nonprofit organization for something similar that can actually help people in the process. Got you, I got love you. That. Yeah. It definitely. Uh, I'm going to say this. It's very important to understand how to interview. I think right. just knowing that skill helps you out in a lot of ways throughout life. My mom taught me at a young age, and I've never, never been turned down a job because of an interview. Okay. You know what right. I mean? Uh, I could interview anywhere, any day, and I feel like I'll get that job. You know what I mean? And so. I tell people, you can have a good resume, right. but if I meet you, you not. Yeah. It, that's, it's all right. Right. And your resume I could be trash, and I meet you. And you dope for the job, yep. so it's not. It's all of them work together. So it's mm-hmm. not one in the other. 
I think people are willing to uh, train you if they can see something right. in you. And that's what the interview process is for. Like I oftentimes hear a lot of younger people complain about some of the things that are tedious and, reme you know, uh, not remedial, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <you laughs> so repetitive. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Um, and, and even in that, if you look at it in a different way, I think there's a lot that you could take away from it. What are your strong skill sets? What are your areas right. of improvement? Things right. like that. Those give people a gauge for, you know, where they can help, uh, what your possibilities might be, things of that sort. So absolutely, salute to you. Yeah, definitely. I don't like when people, I'm doing an interview, they're like, I'm a bad listener. I'm just like, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's why you shouldn't hire me. <laughs> right. Seriously, they really do. They sabotage themselves. Right. Like yeah, they, they really do. It really. They people sabotage themselves so much. They, they be babbling. They don't even know what they be saying. For sure, I used to tell people that if you allow someone to talk long enough. They'll tell you everything right. that you want to know. Exactly. Right. And it's not so much everything that they wanted to share. Exactly. You know, so um, so what made you want to take that that approach, you know, to helping people with interviews and things of that sort? Uh, so I always love recruiting. I started off in um, payroll. I was doing payroll, and then my friends were looking for a job. Send me their resume, and I'll send it. And I'll get bonuses to $100, so I was stacking oh, yeah, money. Yeah. But I was like, I should really go into that field. So I really went, fell in love with it, actually love helping people, make putting them to work, and just, yeah. That's what's up. So do you do this for yourself, or do you are you uh, employed doing I'm the recording? I'm employed doing that, okay. but I do hope to do it for myself someday because I know how things work. I know for how sure. the contract work, getting all part, well, clients, all of that. I know, understand the process. Mimi, hey, real quick, and I'm I'm sorry, Miss Corporate. I'm just divert, you know, divert a little bit. I want to salute you because just talking to these three, I will say this: you got a lot of diversity, and it seems like everybody does have a very clear vision of what yes, they want to get. Do. And I think that uh, you're bringing around enough resources to where they can feed off of each other and, exactly. and really build that And that's that really all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help them help me. I'm trying to help them help each other. Mm -hmm. Like, we all have businesses. So I'm trying to showcase myself. They're trying to showcase their self. And like I said earlier, we can teach each other. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell people, you don't have to be a crowd pot. You don't have to be like, just because the next person does hair too, don't mean you can hate on her. Right. She might know something that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Y'all can book and start a class right. and make money and teach right. people and help each other. Get a shop you feel me? together, and, all and kinds of things. And teach each other. Like, that girl together, may not know right. something, and sh you may know it, and y'all can collaborate. Mm -hmm. Like, And that's all I'm really here for. I'm about, like like she said, with the interviewing, like with Deidre, with her business, T, with her photography, um, one of our other contestants or cast members, she does editing. They can collab. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Like, and that's really all I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. It's so much potential in these girls and they already are doing so well for themselves. Like it's only up from here. All right. So uh, yes, I yeah, thank you. Yeah, for I sure, definitely love sure. the cast. I see a little bit of myself in everyone. Like uh at the when we're doing the charity work downtown, we're giving out supplies and I saw Karma, she's not here. She was just talking to one of the homeless guys and I'm just like, That is me. That's how I am. I'll just stand up and just talk to talk to a stranger. That's my personality. And Lola over there, she'll defend somebody. She'll stand up and be like, don't talk to her like that. I'm like, damn, that's me. So I do see a little bit of myself in everyone. So that's, that's what, what I up. love. And uh, how old are you? Don't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> After 25 years old. Hey, look, yeah, yeah. I, hey, I respect it. I mean, you can still young, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll say this. You you can't be older than us. I I, I, I can't even yeah. believe that, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> make you more we do I'll have say, some now. Nah, my age. We do have some yeah. contestants now that might be older than y'all. All right. All right. Really? That's what's up. Really? That's and what's in up. paradise. Yeah. She she told her age on a previous podcast and people really can't even believe it. Mm -hmm. Par right. um, Paradise, she she don't mind. Paradise is 40 years old. Oh, She's the oldest sure. one on our show. Good. And yeah. she looks amazing. I, yeah, shout out I, to Paradise. I didn't even know that was her age when she came. I didn't even let know that was her age. Then. For <laughs> real, I did not know that was her age when she came. I'm like, girl, you was lying. That's why I'm telling you, Pisces, oh, who wow. Pisces. That's uh, Paradise. Like She looks great. And that's what that's the thing. Black don't cry, baby. I was thinking the same thing, but let me, me let me see. <laughs> we do. We actually have some that that's no, y'all. Look in person. Everybody look better in person. Yeah, you ain't lying that, that as well. Everyone do look better in person, but she looks very good for the her. Pictures age. came out good though. Um, shout out to my photographer, Mike J Photography. Get y'all some shots. <laughs> All right, Miss Corbett, did you ever think you was gonna be on a reality show? I always wanted to be in the reality show. When she mentioned Disney, I went to the audition with the, uh, for the Disney cast. My brother got it. He messed it up. That's how, <laughs> no, literally growing up, that's how I was with my brother. 
he'll get everything he want and I'll have to work for it. Yeah. And then he'll ruin it and just complain. I'm just like, like if I had it, yeah. Bro, I'm I'd just go crazy. like dude, I literally had to teach myself how to drive. I was in the not bought myself a car, everything just driving That's everywhere, crazy. going the wrong lane. I ain't and, not I got very strong feelings about I, women I, behind I was, the wheels. I, wheel, so. I ain't never hit nobody. I, I never, I never, I never hit nobody. But I really don't. So, that's just an example of. She was stuff. like, "Hey, look, I just said fuck it. I ain't have a license or nothing. I was just I had out here." <laughs> <laughs> no, I just was in her car, literally just out here. She said, "Mimi, I can't drive now." So if I hit some myself, oh, Lord. oh, have uh, mercy. Uh, this somebody it, else doing. Two songs on the way in here, Deidre. <laughs> DJ, you can't drive? She hit the fence, y'all. Oh, oh no. Lord. Don't, 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 don't put her out like that. that. Don't no, tell no, Don't no. tell her business. Don't <laughs> tell her business. <laughs> don't you hit my car. The no, fence hit you. It hit you. I believe her. Here? Yes. Oh, oh Lord. I hope our landlord. I hope our landlord now watches this episode. We were there. They the Mexicans was looking at us crazy. You ain't take oh, off the fence, yeah. did you? No. All right, now, points the duck, like that. <laughs> Points the <laughs> duck, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm bullshit. It's all good. But, yeah, reason why I want to be a part of a reality show is because I'm just a little girl from Haiti. I grew up in the... I always tell people this. So sometimes I go to somebody's house, they be like, oh my God, don't worry about the neighborhood I grew up in. I'm like, I grew up in the worst part of Haiti, walking around dead body. I put yeah. down on everything. My cousin was like the lead of a gang. You can't... Yeah. You can't just be making excuses. So I have stories to tell. When you come to America, parents expect you to be doctors, lawyers. My sister's a nurse right now, and she's stressed out. Yeah. And I'm a recruiter, and I'm just like living my best life. So I'm just... I want to tell my little Haitian girls there's other options. You don't have 100%. to be doctors, lawyers, what your parents want. Right. Because like the other day, that was the first time my bro- my dad told me he's proud of me because of my work, and I'm just like, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I just want to congratulations. So. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah, especially hanging out with my Haitian parents. Yeah. So yeah, that's really major. Yes, I know they don't play. Mm-hmm. I've heard stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. It's like, damn, do they love you? Right. Like, <laughs> like, for real. Like, I've heard stories too. Um, but nah, that's what's up. Um, so from here, uh, what are what are are you planning to go into uh recruiting for yourself in a major way as far as like helping your friends and things of that sort, like trying to create an avenue for people to streamline into different businesses? Uh, definitely, but I also want to go into like uh, account management and just mm. reading. Yeah, that's something I really want to switch over. I had the opportunity, but I was, I was not ready. If I'm not ready for something, I'm not the kind of person that will let me put myself out there. I need to prep myself. Gotcha. But that is something I want to learn, and of course, build a business too. I wouldn't say friends because some of my friends tend to let me down, and your friends are reflection of you. Right, like, right, let's just right. say I get you this interview, you don't show up, they're gonna look at me like, yeah, exactly. So I want to, I rather trust strangers than friends. I hear that. This matter. But yeah, that is something I want to expand and just definitely do. I definitely salute you. I mean, yo, you don't hear uh, these things every day. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I, I commend anyone that has a heart to give back. You know what right. I mean? Um, I think that, uh, like, I got a friend. He has a organization called Rome. Reaching out means everything. And that, to me, is huge because it takes a village. You know what I mean? Right. To, to raise our kids, but even more so. For us all to survive, you know, in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. So, yep. what you're doing is is, is pretty yeah. big. I'm a giver. I feel like muscle was just meant to give and not just take. Even if I give you something, for example, you're like, oh, I took advantage of her. I'm like, I don't care. I didn't know the day you lost me as a friend. Right, right. So, you're the one who lost in that situation. You lost more. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. more people who are in need than people who are giving. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 100%. So let me ask a personal question for both of y'all since baby hair still here. Right. Uh, are y'all in a relationship? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> no, not together. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. Yeah, that's my girlfriend. We got some of those in the, in the house. Hey, <laughs> a, hey. a, a lot of them. Hey, that's my eyes open. <laughs> 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 not together, but I'm talking about separating your personal life because my question might be if you are like how do your significant other feel about you being on the show Go ahead, baby here um is. it's still a struggle you know mm. Hold on, okay. you be yeah you good you good yeah. 
My significant other does not like being in the eyes of everybody. He's more of a private person. So, like, it's really hard. But I balance it. Like, me and me, me be trying to go out every weekend, and I'm like, dang, like, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be booed up right now, like, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta get to the bag, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, fix it, fix it, fix it, Jesus. <laughs> and that's why one person's supposed to be over here. I didn't think you, she's trying to fill my spot. Right. Okay. <laughs> but with mine, he wasn't happy with it. And I literally left him behind that. We're trying I was to say, wait a minute, so, yes. so you had a boyfriend? <laughs> Girl, I got a boyfriend and a husband. Fuck you, oh my God. Shit. <laughs> no, I swear. Hey, nigga. I got a boyfriend and a they know y'all, heard, other, y'all heard it here. So. They know about each other. Yes. I am so wait shocked. Wait a minute, pause. Yes. They y'all, know about each other? There's so much y'all don't know about me. Y'all probably oh, like, save, save, for the the yeah. save, <laughs> save for the house. 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 Oh, you didn't even know. Child. <laughs> you, you wasn't lying about Silent Killer. Yeah. I tell you well, what, because his show just lying. killed me up. I mean, surprise, surprise! You dropped the flex ball. And, and at least they know about each other. They that's do. a real player. You like, feel hey, me? yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's hey. what a player is. They, they know about each other. Two personalities for two niggas. Hey, she holding it down. Hey, so so go over there. I tell you what. I was surprised. Okay, okay. Uh, my Period. husband really didn't care. He just like, whatever I do, he's gonna support. But my boyfriend, on the other hand, he wasn't. He wants me to stay corporate, so he thought getting on that show would just be like the bad girls club. Be a really messy situation for me. But I'm just like, hmm, nah, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We got into a big argument. I was like, peace. I'm gone. But we're trying to work things out now, so everything's good. Oh, Damn, shit. this is this story oh, is God. so crazy. Like, I <laughs> no, want to be invested. Like, I want to be invested so, like, in the this. Husband, like, husband, like, is this yeah. written legal? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, this is you have a husband and you also got your little. They were faithful to me. Oh, oh no, God. I'm not playing. But they're not like we're not like fucking together. That's right, right, right. Right. That's okay. like that. That was my I, next. I question. mean, nah, I know. <laughs> I know with women, my next question. it's typically that, you know, they have two different, like, right. setups. You know what I mean? Right. Um, that's how it is. So. That's a hey. period, baby. Look, Listen, y'all heard of him. So you might be it's, the it's possible. biggest player. You know what I mean? It's like, possible. I mean, good Lord. I ain't <laughs> nothing, man. Nah, no, I want that water now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might need some water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You my favorite to win now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I know the book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ain't got two. You ain't got a husband and a boyfriend. I'm sorry, Deidre. You don't need none of that. You know what I'm saying? Keep no, that. Keep it that way. Oh, okay. oh, what? oh, what's going on? Hey, this whole hey. you know and, and that's it for the show. <laughs> I mean, surprise, surprise. This show finna be spectacular. Yeah, man. I'm a, I might really have to drop some some content at the chat for y'all yeah. because them girls in that chat. Man, but. put us in the chat. Oh, she's not here, but her name is Karma, and she'll tell you she gonna be in the bed with everybody, and she's already gonna say mm-hmm. that. Nah, so I'm with crazy. Karma. She trying to fuck. I'm trying to fuck. What? She got with her. How Karma look? Huh? How Karma look? I oh, might be trying to. Karma fine. Karma fine. Karma valid. Karma look. Look at y'all. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, that nigga did is slick too. That nigga said. No. Karma, nah, karma valid now. Nah, nah, really, I really th- no cap. Karma, I love you, but I really think karma is a madam for real. Because mm. she be I, d- y'all don't think that. I, I think karma a madam. Cause right. she be she be she it be look like, like Y'all still got a lot to learn about each other, so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like yes, <laughs> Definitely. Y'all got yeah. all these crazy uh, relationships going on. Good I lord! I mean, crazy if everyone understands each other. True, D, true, D, true, D. Yeah. yeah, let me not. Hey, let me not use the wrong word. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't want y'all barking up my tree. <laughs> <laughs> child, yes, that I is mean, crazy, child. Hey, I, I do not know what to say after this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm like, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I just was shocked. Man, listen. I'm, I'm excited though, oh, really. Like, man. also, like, because I know Soso was just saying how we were yeah. just downtown giving back to our community. Um, yeah, you passed this chart. Seeing all of these girls yeah. do yeah. stuff like, hey, how you doing? Look, <laughs> don't even know who this is. What's up? What's up? What's up? Follow us. <laughs> but no, um, we were just um, downtown in Jacksonville. Uh, was it last week? Um, mm-hmm. Saturday? Last Sunday. Uh, 
we the task or the challenge for everyone was one female bag, one male bag of hygiene products to give back to our community. Um, because we turn up, yeah, we cuss fool, but at the end of the day, we also love to give back to our city and love to give back to our people. So, um, like she was saying, Karma was just talking to a homeless man, just getting his story because so many people do have stories to tell. 100%. Like so many people got jobs but just have nowhere to stay. Like it was some man, like he was like, I, I was rich. Mm-hmm. Like it was a white man I was talking to. He was like, I was rich. He was like, I lost everything after my divorce. I was like, dang. And now he's on the side of the street, but it was just, it felt good to give back to them. Like, cause really we don't need recognition. Mm-hmm. Like we didn't even, a lot of people didn't even know we did that. We posted a post for people to donate stuff, but a lot of people didn't know we did that. Cause everything doesn't have to be seen. I feel like people who do stuff like that, like, Oh, look, I'm out here feeling the homeless. Like, I feel like it's not genuine. One thing that I do think um, when it comes to that, that does need to happen is I think that I'm very interested in kind of doing some content with the homeless. But Mm -hmm. I think that what it needs to be more so is people having the chance to tell their story. Because there is such a, a, a connotation to it to where people feel like, oh, just because you're homeless, you're either this fucked up person, you're on drugs, things of that sort. I was leaving a friend's uh, birthday party one night and um, went out to this fancy restaurant. I, I, I don't eat a lot, so I had my whole meal. I walk into Walmart and this guy sitting outside on, uh, um, on the ground, one shoe on, his clothes are torn, he's bloody. Like he, he just looks like he been having a hell of a life, right? The lady, um, she saw me talking to him before I went in, and she was like, hey, I don't know what you can do, but if you can help him, yada, yada, you know, it would be nice, right? So when I walked out, I was like, look, um, I had already given him my food, but he he didn't take it. So I just was trying to make sure he was straight. Like, is there anything that you need? He was like, look, I'm going to be honest. I don't need anything. Uh, I actually just need a ride home. I was walking down the street. Two guys beat me up. Wow. Like they 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 punished him. They beat wow. the shit out of him. Um they took everything from him. He didn't have his keys, his wallet, anything, right? So, long story short, I end up giving him a rap. As I'm doing it, of course I'm nervous, you know what I mean? Of I'm course, like, uh, they, they they can lie. You know, right, right. Serious, like seriously. I just truly believe this guy For and I, I I had a coop, so uh it's me and him sitting next to each other <laughs> like, man, he could stab me in my neck. But uh <laughs> when I dropped him off, it turned out this nigga stayed on the golf course like Hell i'm talking no. million dollar homes and shit like and he gave me twenty dollars like i don't know where from yeah. <laughs> this nigga just pulled out twenty dollars <laughs> i was like uh <laughs> thank you but, but yeah seriously like people they be so quick to judge like 100%. this one man he was like i go and i get i interview like i go get interviewed and i like go to a job interview like every day they mm-hmm. don't hire me because of my appearance and because they know I'm homeless. Yep. So like people, they out, they be out there trying to get somewhere. It's yeah. just like majority, we just, mm, okay, uh, we don't got nothing for you. Like rolling windows up. Like you don't even really know like something really can help that person. Like just giving to somebody mm-hmm. will motivate them to go do something with their life because someone believes in them. And if you don't believe in them, they just, oh, okay, look, they're actually out here doing stuff like this. Let me get my up my behind and go brush my teeth for real. For sure. Let me go take a shower with this soap. Like, so yeah, like I understand that. And that's what's up. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, hey. And I mean, a lot of them, once you actually talk to them, a lot of them really are desperately trying. And even if it's not to go out and work for themselves, they're working for others in a lot of ways that people don't know. I've met a lot of homeless people that take food back to you know women that might not be able to go out or Mm -hmm. might not feel safe and things like that so there is a lot that goes into it i don't like that you know so many people clout chase as far as giving things to the homeless and it's like a hell look at me doing this if you do it at least get permission 100 percent. 100 percent. get permission i feel like that's what i was saying i feel like when people do it like it's not genuine they just want someone to be like oh look at him Mm -hmm. out here giving back but like are you genuinely giving back like or do you were just oh let me go ahead and post this on my page for a little bit of clout for my baby mama so make it seem like i'm not here doing something <laughs> right. you feel me like are you genuinely doing that for the better good you feel yeah. me like i feel like a lot of people don't do it to be genuine they do it for the recognition mm-hmm. or somebody be like oh wow look at him 100 percent. because i mean at the end of the day you know it, it really does take nothing to pull together resources Nothing and at all. you can create something that does have longevity that creates sustainability for people um 
looking at Jacksonville's downtown situation, there are a lot of ideas that I'm I'm working towards right now. But I would like to try and help out some of the homeless and and kind of shift some of the uh, programs towards that direction. I think that it's a shame that in every city, one of the biggest problems that um, city officials have is what to do with the homeless. Yep. And instead of trying to mitigate any of those issues, they push them to other areas mm -hmm. to where they they unfortunately are, are susceptible to, you know, things of the environment. So that's true. But I ain't mean to derail that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys give me some ideas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I think that, uh, again, uh, it's so important to help each other. And a lot of what you said, you know, I, I, I'm i I'm even taking away inspiration from it just because there is so much that we can do. Um, a lot of people don't, you know, again, Mimi, I salute you for the, doing this show because from what I'm seeing, these are people that have things going for themselves but more importantly you're you're helping to build their confidence in themselves exactly. it's not so much the uh the challenges that they're going to be doing or things of that sort it's sitting next to somebody that they can build off of it's exactly. it's uh seeing someone else do something in a different way that that gives them the idea so um i think that this is huge you know what i mean and i, I salute all of y'all you know i wish all of y'all the best I'm excited sure. to get into the house. I'm excited to have so much in store for them. Like they know, like we'll have a mental life coach inside the house as well. Cause in this industry, like even this industry, like music, entertainment, whatever, mental health is real. People don't focus on mental health at all. Man. They think they take it as a joke until you see somebody done committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Who was your favorite rapper? Mm -hmm. Or K Spade, millionaire, designer, committed suicide. Yep. Money is not everything, and mental health is serious. Like it's not a joke out here, and people don't take it serious to me. And I feel like, cause like me with ADHD, it wasn't mental, but if someone really did sit down, like one of my teachers, and really sit down and talk to me and try to really understand what's going on, they would have knew I'm on medication. Yeah. Literally, I was on AD. I took Adderall. Um, middle school, I stopped my sophomore year in high school because I did not like how it made me feel, but. Having ADHD really was a challenge for real. Like I really could not sit still and focus on yeah, my classwork. And that is a mental thing. Like it is and something. it really is a mental thing. And I felt like and then that's when I like shoot. I might as well lash out. I might as well show out skip school because y'all don't care anyway. Yeah. So I feel like mental health is very real and that's why I want to have a life coach in the house for someone to just go take a load off because it's not good to keep that stuff built up because that's how the drama starts mm -hmm. and that's when the mess starts, the fight starts because they keep it built up and until you just blow up. So, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. So, mental health, very serious. We will have a mental life coach in there for you guys. Um, financial literacy workshops coming up as well. Financial, like just financial problems is very serious as well. And our generation in high school, they didn't even teach us about money. At not at all. No. Not at all. No. At all. And yeah. honestly, like I was expecting that when we was in school. Seriously, but. <laughs> like they didn't teach us that at all. Y'all just threw us out here. Don't get a job. Yep. Like I never had a credit card. My first time I have a credit card literally was this year because I was scared. Shoot, I yeah. know myself, baby. I love to spend, mm -hmm. but I need that help because financial problems are real as well. Like mm -hmm. these rich people, y'all, they look rich. They be hurting, like for real. Like, and not even just that. I think one of the biggest uh, issues that everyone faces, it doesn't matter if you're up M's or if you got a few pennies. Right. Um, financial, uh, like money management is the the, the biggest thing. It and really for a lot of people, they think it's, <clears throat> hey, I have it available to spend. Exactly. I can go ahead and get X, Y, and Z. You know, um, today we're starting to see a lot more athletes, a lot more rappers become financially uh, conscious. Mm -hmm. And I think I salute that. You know what I mean? But um, I think that it is very important to have a financial coach, to have a mental coach. Yes. Um, from what I'm hearing, everyone's uh, doing uh, entrepreneurial endeavors for the most part. Coming from an entrepreneur, it can be a challenge to exactly. keep keep the same mental zeal through some of the adversities That's and things lot. of that sort. Yeah, so having somebody to be able to uh, vent to and then depend on with everyone being in the house, I think that'll be a, a, a good key for everyone. Yep, just like my mom. A lot of us, we go to my mom. My mom's a nurse. She's a travel nurse. Um, she's also licensed to for grief counseling because, like I did say before, my brother was DJ Sheldon. I don't know if y'all knew who that was, but he mm -hmm. was one of the hottest DJs out here. He passed away in 2014 due to leukemia, mm -hmm. and 
my mom is a grief counselor for children because my brother did have two kids and people always focus on the husband losing the wife or the wife losing the husband but the children go through the grief as well 100%. and i feel like no one focuses on the kids that really eats them up not having that main parent in their life so my mom also will be there as well for that grief because this world is tough out here like yeah. like people go through a lot every day and like just even like with the negative feedback the positive feedback like we get more positive feedback but the negative feedback is there mm -hmm. and not saying it eats them up but <laughs> like some people can get discouraged by that so that's why i'm glad that we're gonna have people in the house like my mother mainly she is my main support system i mean they all can talk to her as well yeah. everyone my mom is always there yeah. so um I, I love that about my mother. Shout out to you, girl. You know you my dog. Um, yeah, I definitely look at me about to tear up and stuff. I definitely love your mom. Because I was like, I want to go into nursing. And she called me. We were really on the phone talking about mm -hmm. that stuff. And I was like, I wanted to go to that school. But they saying that, that, that. Oh, about yeah, it. my mom told her. Like, mom was like, her to, be, to be a nurse. Yeah, like, yes, so yes. I really want to. The reason behind it is because I really want to go to Haiti and mm -hmm. actually help. Help, yeah. The kids. Yeah. No, I definitely the understand. Kids, you know, and stuff like that. So I really. Because. There's no money for finance, so there's not much they can do. Right. But yeah. Do you feel like you're uh, getting positive takeaways from being a part of this and working with Mimi? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like there's anyone I can go ahead and talk to. We all have a sh story to share. And when we're with each other, we not shy away from that. Right. So yeah, I really love that support, that sisterhood, because... Growing up, I was told I wasn't Haitian enough, so I never really got enough along with the hate. I swear, everyone swear I was Americanized, but with the American, you Haitian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it feels good to have that sister bond. So I really appreciate it. That's good, and I love that y'all are you know bigging each other up. Uh, it don't sound like y'all have been throwing shade. I know that was kind of like a little joke we made earlier, but for the most part, it sounds like y'all building each other up. <laughs> You gotta remember, all of them not here. True indeed, yeah. true indeed, true mm. indeed. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to read the book by the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Child, y'all gonna see. Yeah, yeah, nah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. This has been a great interview. Uh, shit, what, we at an hour and 30? Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's what happened, though, when, you, when you're getting good talk. I tell know, you what, real. for sure. All right, so Miss Corporate, gonna plug all your stuff. Uh, yeah, I only have an Instagram. So, <laughs> hey, let them know. Uh, pretty girl, so so, and it underscore. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, go ahead it. and follow the Haitian beauty. Yes, indeed. Period. Yes, Corporate indeed. Y'all gonna be looking out for that restaurant, Definitely. and she gonna be saving lives soon. So, <laughs> you no, know. Really looking forward she to that. already got a husband and boyfriend. So yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. I don't know if y'all can fit into the mix, right. but you she know what I mean. Got too much going on. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I am Miss over there. Come here, baby. Come here. Lola. Come here. I'm inviting you. Come on, in. come on. Take my spot. Y'all can close out the show together. <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, body. <laughs> right. Body, body, <laughs> body. Ooh. Be careful. Yes. Oh, is that an old school phone? Yeah, it's a little prop for the prop. Hello, darling. Who you calling? Right. Yeah. Mommy yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Thank y'all for having us. Oh, Thank you. This was really big. Thank y'all for having us. All right, Miss Mimi, go and plug everything. Yeah. Everything that people need to know. Let me step into the show. And thank you for supporting us, y'all. We have so much love and support, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we do. I, I love our support. And we got a lot of haters. <laughs> I'd be ready to turn well, up on y'all. So <laughs> right, the good always outlooks the bad. It's definitely way more supporters than it is, yeah. you know, yeah. the haters. Um, we love y'all haters too. Like, yeah. so we all it's it's, a, it's love for y'all as well. But make sure y'all definitely tune in to our Instagram, the Real Baddies of Jacks, Facebook, Real Baddies of Jacksonville, Twitter, Duval's Finest, YouTube, Duval's Finest. Y'all follow me. It's Mimi. <laughs> underscore underscore. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Season one coming soon. Network Reveal Party coming soon. We ain't going nowhere. It's only up from here. And yeah, you see my cast. Period. Season one gonna be the best. Period. Yes. period. Now, real quick too. They gonna meet their new replacement next week. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they gonna meet them. So yeah. we gonna we gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all tune in. Go ahead, y'all. Look, they quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I switch that. Blah blah blah. They know they ain't going nowhere though. Yeah, I know I ain't going nowhere. Go ahead, y'all say it close out. <laughs> um, honestly, I feel like 
I didn't think I had as much supporters as I do. Like, what the heck? But yeah, that's besides the point. Thank y'all for having us. Like, stay tuned. Be ready so you don't have to get ready. Period. Period. Love yeah. it. I'm following anybody that doesn't support me. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. I need room for real supporters. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, Lola. Y'all just vote me the baddest. <laughs> y'all gonna see me. When we get in the house, y'all gonna see my real personality. Yeah. Period. Stay tuned. You gotta never mind, but yeah, y'all. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> hey, this has been another episode. Of Random Max of Podcast, amazing show. My co-host on the side taking a little smoke break, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. With all, <laughs> with all that said, we out. <laughs>